everybody. I'm Keith Flippin. I am your instructor for COM 101 R, public speaking, the course that nobody wants to take. But you, you have found a way to do it by taking it online in a virtual setting, which means you will not have to stand in front of 35 of your peers and deliver speeches four or five or six times during the semester. However, you will have to stand in front of five living human beings for each of your speeches. And I would like to give you a piece of advice. I would suggest that you cultivate, early in this eight-week compressed course, a group of five people that will do this for you regularly. And here's why. Speech is not some grandiose thing, some act of oratory that we believe it is. It is not, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. It is not that. Speech is a conversation. It is an exchange of energy between yourself and the person or people to whom you're speaking. It's about identifying with them, picking up on the signals they're giving you and exchanging with them using an energy adjustment that you make based on what you're receiving. And if you can find five people that you know well that will show up regularly for you, that will help you immeasurably in this course because it will help engender that sense of conversation. The other piece of advice I'd like to give you is never, ever speak on something you don't care about. I don't care what the assignment is. Anytime we speak in front of a group of people, the thing that makes that speech worthwhile for us is that we have a compelling reason for doing it. Not just, I need the grade in the class, or I need to turn in this assignment, but instead that you have a very specific way that you want to affect the people to whom you're speaking. When I coach corporate executives and CEOs, leaders of organizations, what I tell them is every time you have an opportunity to speak, you are firing arrows into the hearts of your audience to motivate them and energize them to take the action you want them to take. That is what speech is. You are engaged in changing the behavior the actions, the opinions of the people that you're talking to. That's why we do it. And if you're not invested in what you have to say, then it doesn't work. So it needs to be something you believe in. And you need to look these five people in the eyes and convince them earnestly that what you're saying matters. Those are my two big pieces of advice in the execution of speeches in this class. Now, this is an eight-week compressed course, which means that you have a lot of work to do. And this is our first week, so at the end of this class, I will review what it is that you need to turn in for our first week, which is modules one and two. But I did not design this course. This was handed to me as a shell for Canvas that I had to personalized to a certain extent, but I am not allowed to alter the content of the tests or quizzes or the nature of the assignments. I did not select the textbook. I am just the instructor. I am here for one of, well, I'm here for all of, <laughs> three or four reasons. One, to help you better understand the material that you have been given to learn. The modules and learning materials are there for you to absorb and watch and then draw from as you execute your speeches and assignments. If you have questions about those, please reach out to me via email and I will respond within 24 hours and we can even set up a time to talk. I have office hours on Thursdays. If you'll check Canvas, you can see when those office hours are scheduled. Another thing I'm here to do is to grade your assignments and to give you feedback on your speeches because if you are doing something that you're not aware of, it's my job to point out that you're doing it so that the next time you can clean that up. What does it matter? Right? What does it matter? You're never going to use this anyway. You're never going to be a CEO or, a, uh, or maybe you will. I mean, you're never going to be president of the United States or maybe you will. But you don't foresee yourself in those circumstances. Well, I'll tell you why it matters. Because at some point in your life, you're going to need to call on your voice. You will need to call on your ability to speak and influence others. It may be giving a speech at your best friend's wedding or the eulogy at the funeral for someone you love. 
You might need to ask for a raise or interview for a job or speak up in public in defense of yourself or someone else or testify in court for something that really, really matters. You will have countless mundane, everyday reasons to use what you learn in this course. And let me tell you, if you bother, if you really do, take the lessons in this course to heart and apply them to when you speak, you will significantly increase the odds of your future success and your ability to influence other people. I've seen it. I know it happens. People assume that speaking extemporaneously is pulling it out of your ass. It's not. Speaking extemporaneously is about making it look like you're speaking for the first time. But speaking is intellectual and preparation, organization of thoughts, and planning what you're going to say. But it's instinctive in execution. You've practiced it. You've worked through it. But then when you get up in front of a group of people, it feels because you're so comfortable, because you're so prepared, like it's off the cuff. That's what good public speaking is, and that connection. So that's what we're going to work on over the course of this class. Let's take a look at what is due this first week. So the five things you have due, five things, not four, that are due this Sunday, October 22nd, no later than 11.59 p.m., no late assignments are accepted, are completing the syllabus quiz to test your understanding of the content of the syllabus, the scavenger hunt quiz to test your understanding of the course orientation, your course reflection, which establishes a baseline for what your goals and objectives are with this course, the module two quiz, which tests your understanding of module two, and a sample video, which is your opportunity to get oriented with GoReact, the system by which you will be submitting video presentations in this course. So those are the five things you have due at the end of this first week. If you have any questions about any of those, feel free again to reach out via email, and I am at your disposal. My office hours again are on the syllabus. Uh, you can find those uh, on Canvas as well under my information page. Uh, this class, I believe, is uh, Thursdays from 10 to 11 a.m. But double check that. Double check that. I can double check that. Let me double check that. I will check that. I'm checking that right now. I'm checking it. Meet your instructor. There it is. 10 to 11 a.m. Thursdays. So if you need me, I will see you there. Let's do the thing.